Welcome to the 3D conduction tutorial. This tutorial is designed to be more of a design tutorial rather than an academic one. In the problem specification, we know that we cannot let the micrometer bridge reach 570 degrees Kelvin because that is when the superheated temperature of water will start to boil. Boiling will cause pitting in our object which will degrade it. So we want to know how long we can leave our micrometer bridge operating before we have to turn it off. In our first step, we should create a steady state thermal project. So either double click or drag and drop a steady state thermal. And let us call it 3D conduction. Our first order of business is to enter in the engineering data. We have four objects, platinum, silicon dioxide, silicon, and water. Normally, if you are doing a liquid such as water, you would have to use fluent as water moves around. However, in this problem specification, we are assuming that the water is stagnant in the short time scale that the micrometer bridge will be active, and thus we can model it in ANSYS. Now for these four, we will all be using isotropic thermal conductivity. For silicon dioxide, it is six. Silicon, it is 148 watts per meter Kelvin. Water, at 440 Kelvin, it is 0.682 watts per meter Kelvin and platinum it is 72 watts per meter kelvin.